All right, so this will be uh, the video for sign rule part two, where we look at examples. We're going to look at two particular examples. So here, I have a triangle um, like this. I want to think every time you are given a triangle where you, you are given the opposite side, right? So there is an angle and an opposite side, but you're given an angle and the opposite side is not there. Look at the crisscross here. The opposite side is not there. So, ah, I can use my uh, sign rule. So all I need is just three of these or three of that. So let me, I'm looking for the side. If I'm looking for the side, so you use the ones where side is on top. So I will say x of a sine 42, which is equal to 1 8 over sine 105. And when you cross multiply, your x will be equal to sine 42 multiplied by 18 over sine um, 105. So your x will be equal to um, it will be equal to 12.8 Four six nine two, which is twelve point five three significant figure. Okay, now let's look at this one. Here we are given, uh, we are looking for the angle. We are looking for the angle, and remember, we said if we are looking for the angle, so we are going to put the angle on top. And how do we put the angle on top when we are using sine rule? So we are going to say sine x, but then do not forget that crisscross we're talking about, right? Do not forget the relationship. So that means this length has a relationship with um, the opposite angle. Okay, so it will be sine x over 4.8. Which is equal to sine 25 over 6.2. So let's cross multiply. Sine x will be equal to sine 25 multiplied by 4.8 divided by. 6.2 and there if you want to find the angle that would be sine negative 1 then sine 25 times 4.8 all over 6.2 do not forget if you want to find the angle you are using second function sine that's going to give you an angle and then when you calculate it, you are going to get you are going to get nineteen point zero nine eight two, which is going to be nineteen point um, one. Um, is that an angle? Okay, we don't need to write the significant figure here because that's an angle and it's written in three digits. Okay, and that will be our angle. So that's our angle right there. So I'm going to give you work from Delta Math and work from the exercise as well. And yeah, just for us to practice, I'll leave it here for today and tomorrow we're going to be doing something else. But from today, tomorrow, I might not give you anything because I want you to practice um, from Delta Math and most of the questions that require us to use sign rule for you to be, to be familiar. Goodbye.